In this video, we're going to solve two quartic equations. Now, yes, you could plug these into your calculator and solve them that way. But we're not going to learn anything from that. So what we'll do, be doing is just doing it wholly algebraic. So with this first one, we've got f of x is equal to this quartic here. We need to solve f of x is equal to 0, given that f of minus 1 is equal to f of 3, which is equal to 0. So what that is another way of saying is that f of minus 1 is 0 and f of 3 is 0, which is telling us by the factor theorem that x plus 1 and x minus 3 are factors. So, at this stage, it, depending on how confident you are with polynomial division, uh, you could divide the quartic through by x plus 1, and then you get x plus 1 and a cubic, and then divide the cubic through by x minus 3, and get your two linear terms and a quadratic term. Um, that would involve doing polynomial division twice. I'm going to do polynomial division once by dividing instead by the quadratic. Now, this is a perfectly valid way of doing it. Uh, you may or may not have seen it before, though. So I'm going to divide through. Uh, sorry, I'm going to multiply these brackets out first because I know that this is a factor. Uh, that's going to get me minus two x uh, minus three. Okay. So I'm going to divide the quartic by x squared minus two x minus three. So I need x to the four. So I'd have to have x squared there. So I'd get minus 2x cubed and then minus 3x squared. Now I need minus 6x squared, so I need to take away 4x, uh, sorry, minus 6x cubed. So I need minus 4x cubed there. Uh, so this would leave me with minus 4x in here. So we'd have 8x squared and then uh, 12x. Now, I need 25x squared. I've currently got 5x squared, so I'd need another 20x squared. So I'd have to have 20 there. I'd have minus 40x there. Minus 40 plus the 12 makes the minus 28, so I know that's on the right tracks. And 20 lots of minus 3 is minus 60, which is what I wanted. OK, so I've managed to write uh, f of x as x plus 1, x minus 3, so that's that term there, times by x squared minus 4x plus 20. So doing the polynomial division in one go. Now, to solve f of x equals 0, I need to solve this quadratic here. So I'm going to use completing the square, x take away 2 squared, take away the square of 2, and plus the 20 is 0. So minus 4 plus 20 is 16, so negative 16 on the right-hand side. Square root both sides, so plus or minus 4i. So x is 2 plus or minus 4i. So the solutions to f of x equals 0 is x is equal to negative 1, x is equal to 3, or x is equal to 2, plus or minus 4i. OK, and so that solves the quartic equation, given those two bits of information. Right. OK, so let's have a look at this next one. So question two, we've got another quartic. Um, we're told that x squared plus 3 is a factor of g of x. OK, so that means we can go straight in with the polynomial division. So we've got the x squared. Uh, now, when I'm doing this, um, I usually put in a placeholder. So I put in 0x just in case I need it, and just also to keep track of things. Um, so I want x to the 4. So this would have to be x squared, then I'd get 0x cubed, I'd get 3x squared. Now, I need minus 10x cubed, so this needs to be minus 10x cubed here. So this would have to be minus 10x. So then I'd get 0x squared there, I'd get minus 30x there. 
Now I need 29x squared. I've currently got 3x squared, so I need 26x squared more. So this would have to be 26. That would have to be at 0x. And then 26 times 3 um, will get me the 78. OK, so I've got the minus 30x, I've got the 78, so all's good there. So g of x is equal to x squared plus 3 times x squared minus 10x plus 26. So solving g of x equals 0, either this bracket is 0, or this bracket is 0. This bracket being 0, that would mean that x squared is negative 3. So x is plus or minus the square root of 3i. So I've currently got two complex solutions. So now if we have a look at the other quadratic, complete the square. Minus 25 plus 26 is 1, so we've got negative 1 on the right-hand side. So x minus 5 is plus or minus the square root of minus 1, so plus or minus i. So x is 5 plus or minus i. And so there are these four solutions. Uh, positive root 3i, negative root 3i, 5 plus i, and 5 minus i. Okay, They are the four solutions to question number 2.